Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Many of you have buy Raspberry Pi and SD card, but don't know how to install OS on SD card and uh, how to do a primary setup of a Raspberry Pi. Well, today we are talking about the same. We will go through the various steps like download the OS file, format the SD card, and if you are on Windows, then write image to SD card using RPI installer. And if you are on Ubuntu side or Linux side, then you can also use a startup disk creator. We are going to see the boot OS, then first boot of Raspberry Pi. And we'll see the interface and what are the basic functionality and features we have. You are watching DTAC and let's get started. What are the things required? First Raspberry Pi 4. second 32 GB or more memory card I would recommend keep micro SD card above 16 GB then one card reader first we need to open raspberrypi.org website then navigate to software then here you can find Raspberry Pi OS in this page, these are the all listed Raspberry Pi OS. So first one is Raspberry Pi OS with desktop and recommended software. So the file size of this OS is around 2.8 GB because this image file contains all the recommended software from the Raspberry Pi. Second, Raspberry Pi OS with desktop. So there is no recommended software. You need to down download it additionally. Then last one is Raspberry Pi OS Lite. So these contain only main features of the Raspberry Pi like uh, Raspberry Pi OS. Additional, you can plug in other modules to this. Apart from this, we have some uh, other OSs available like Debian Buster, Libra, which contain Kodi Entertainment Center distribution, and Ubuntu Desktop, Ubuntu Server, Ubuntu Core, RetroPy. So these all are the third-party OSs. You can also plug this in to your Raspberry Pi. So today we are going to see this Raspberry Pi OS with desktop and recommended software. So click on the download. So click on save file. It will download. Now we have this OS downloaded. We are first going to extract this here. Now we have this image file. Now I'm going to plug SD card to USB port. So here two partitions are there. So first I'm going to format this entire SD card using disk. Go to 32 GB drive and uh, click here and format disk. We are using quick format and uh, this MBRDOS partitioning type we are selecting. Click on format. SD card is formatted. Now we have two ways to install this image to the SD card. So first way is go to this Raspberry Pi OS page. Click on software. Here we have one Raspberry Pi OS installer. This is the software which you can use to install this image file to the SD card. So we are going to see this uh, way first. Click on download. Save this file. I have already installed this. Go to Imager. So this pop-up will appear here you can choose the OS so the benefit of using this Raspberry Pi imager is if you don't download any OS then there are some listed operating system you can find which supported by the Raspberry Pi so first is 32-bit Raspberry Pi OS if you want 32-bit OS Lite or full version then also you can download from here this is the same image uh, which we have downloaded so what this software will do it will download that image and store in your system 
you don't need to download manually that then there are also other operating system file like ubuntu manjaro risk os5 if we go to media player then we have this libra for the kodi emulation we have this recal box and retro bike and other oases are like this these are all the third party os you can also download this you can also format card for the fat 32 using this tool so here first we are going to go with use custom which is here dot img file you need to select and then in storage you need to select the sd card if you have connected sd card this entry will appear here then click on write it will write this image to this storage and if you don't use this use custom and go to raspberry pi os full then uh, this software will download this entire img file first then only the software will write the data to the sd card but uh, we have this img file so we are selecting this and uh, storage and then click on write so later will be erased yeah it will ask for the password this is very handy software if you don't want to go to website and download the file and uh, use some third party tools to write that img file to your sd card then this is the official raspberry pi imager tool you can use let's wait for this so if you don't want to use raspberry pi installer then we have one more way to install install this img file to your sd card so that is startup disk creator this software you can find built in in ubuntu so here there are two parts you can add a source disk image file you you need to select disk images and here you will find dot img file and then you can plug sd card and here you can find that uh, your sd card and then you can click on make startup disk in it the process will same it will write entire img file to your sd card so that you can use both the way you can use the official raspberry pi tool or you can use this startup disk creator it's upon you so now sd card write is successful this message is appear and now you can unplug the sd card now we are going to add this sd card to the raspberry pi and boot up so now we have boot up to raspberry pi so this is the first screen you will get make sure you have connected ethernet so you will get internet access we are click on next click on next so it ask you to change the default password so by default raspberry pi has raspberry password and pi is the default user so you can change this to anything you want so it, it is recommended to change the id uh, username and password because uh, everyone will know that this is the default password so they may be associated to your system and uh, look out for some information so it always good practice to change the username and password click on next so if you see the black border at the edges in your monitor then do check out this option if you see black border then it will ask you to reboot your raspberry pi but if you don't see anything just skip it and press next we have already ethernet connected so we are skipping this wifi network so this is the model b so you don't need to add any external wifi adapter to your raspberry pi update system it will check if any update is there then it will update to latest version now system is up to date click on okay so after setup completion uh, you will get this restart pop up so click on restart so now raspberry pi is ready for use this is taskbar so 
so here you can see uh, many of the software are pre-installed because we have selected the 2.8 GB uh, variant of this Raspberry Pi OS you can also play some games some accessories are there terminal task manager so first let's check the what are the idle CPU sets around 7 to 8 percent CPU usage is there and 189 MB of RAM utilization out of 3.7 GB which is very great this is well optimized OS we can say now first thing I want to highlight is go to start menu go in preference here you can see raspberry pi configuration so if you want to change system password you can click here and change the system password if you want to change any host name then you can also go here and change if you want to go into the headless mode of raspberry pi so without this gui you can directly boot to the command line then you need to select this option currently the auto login is enabled so it will not ask you for login id and password it will directly login as a pi if you want to disable that just click here network at boot so currently do not wait for it will not wait for any network to connect directly boot up spray screen is enabled so you can also change the pixel doubling screen breaking over scan based on the connected display you can pick these options if you have any camera interface then you can enable that by clicking here ssh you, you can enable vnc which i already enabled spi to see serial port is currently disabled one wired and remote gpi is also disabled so on a performance uh, the gpu memory is by default 76 mb and uh, fan and gpio and fan temperature we are not currently using this because although we have fan in raspberry pi case but uh, that the standard raspberry pi fan has three wires one is positive ground and another one is fan gpio so this option is used for that so it will vary the fan speed based on the current temperature cpu temperature and local addition yeah so you can ready to go and found that this video is very helpful and you want more video like this then uh, do comment below how you like this video subscribe to my channel to see this kind of video in future and uh, also press the bell icon so you will get notified whenever i post a video so that's it for today and i will see you in the next one